In this video, we will solve a problem on income determination model. This question was asked by a brother on Telegram channel of EconMaths. The question is, suppose y is denoted by output is equal to 4000, tax is being given as ty, where t is our marginal tax rate and y is obviously our output. And this marginal tax rate is 0.3. Our MPC, which is denoted by C, is 0.8. And government spending, which is G, is uh, 1,000. This is closed economy. Now, G increases. That means government spending increases. And as a result of this, our output also increases. Such that after the income change, the budget is exactly balanced. Then by how much government spending must have increased, okay, approximately, uh, the options are 4,3200,729,629. Okay. So let us see what we are being given. We are being given the total output is equal to 4,000. Okay. And tax rate is, which is TY is equal to. So uh, this T denotes the marginal tax rate, which is 0 0.3 times Y. Also, we are being given the marginal propensity to save, which is being denoted by C. Or let me write it here, MPC which is equal to c is 0 0.8 and also we are being given that government spending is 100 okay thousand sorry so we don't have you know investment here or net export so our equation will look like this okay our total output will be equal to the consumption expenditure plus government expenditure because investment is not here and total output you know it is being given as 4000 let me write it here 4000 first okay plus consumption function you know as consumption function we write as c is equal to a plus b uh, y d y d is our disposable income that means y d in turn is equal to you know y minus the tax uh, you know tax uh, times the output okay so whatever is being left after the tax is being paid on the income we call that very thing disposable income so this uh, consumption function will look like this c is equal to a plus b in place of yd i can write y minus ty okay uh, so in place of c let us write it as small c which is being given us here, here mpc so here we have also sorry uh, it is a i am very sorry this is a and this b is being denoted by c here because this is our marginal propensity to consume let's write it here c okay so here we have also c small c this will be our consumption function so in place of uh, you know c i can write a let me write it here first so our consumption function is a plus uh, C, which is marginal propensity to consume, which is being given as 0 0.8, okay, Y, which is being given 4000, okay, I'm just saving the steps here, minus to save the space, uh, marginal tax rate is being given as, you know, 0 0.3, that means our T is equal to 0 0.3, so in place of t i can write 0 0.3 times y y is being given as 4000 okay and when we solve this will become 4000 is equal to a plus 0 0.8 now we have 4000 minus 0 0.3 times 4000 comes out to be uh, 1200 okay uh, plus we have the government expenditure here which is being given as thousand let me write it here and here we have also government expenditure we need to solve this for this autonomous consumption first to get the value of a so we have four thousand is equal to a plus zero point eight four thousand minus twelve hundred comes out to be twenty eight hundred so we have twenty eight hundred here plus one thousand when we solve this for a okay you can do it uh, uh, pretty correctly our a will come out to be i have solved it this comes out to be 760 okay when you solve this thing you will get the value of autonomous you know consumption is 760 now we are being told you know 
government expenditure has increased as a result of this our income has also increased such that okay after the increase in income our budget is balanced so our budget is balanced when is our budget balanced when simply when government spending is equal to our tax revenue and what will be tax revenue marginal ta uh, you know marginal tax rate times output this will be our okay when this equation holds we say our budget is balanced okay simply when our new government expenditure is equal to new tax revenue after you know a government expenditure has increased then we say our budget is balanced okay so we are being told let me write it here we are being told g has increased okay we are being told g has increased as a result of this y has also increased as such that budget is balanced okay when will be budget balanced when our uh, sorry uh, when our new government expenditure will be equal to tax rate times new income okay i hope you are getting this idea here what i am trying to you know uh, teach here simple thing we are being told government expenditure has increased and as a result of this y has also increased so this y will be when this uh, uh, you know output has increased so let us denote it by y dash when government expenditure has increased new government ex uh, expenditure i have denoted by g dash okay so when g has increased y has also increased such that after the increase in income the budget is balanced when will be our budget balanced simply when our new government expenditure is exactly equal to new tax revenue okay when uh, simple thing our budget is balanced when the government expenditure is equal to tax revenue simple thing then what we need to do we need to find out the new output level that means we need to find out y dash so our y dash will be equal to you know consumption plus government expenditure new government expenditure simple thing that means our c is equal to as i have told c is equal to a the value of a we got here a is equal to 760 uh, plus marginal propensity to save which is uh, you know same 0 0.8 times y now this time our y will be y dash new you know when government expenditure has increased our income has also increased so we have y dash minus t which is marginal tax rate times y dash okay this is our consumption function plus now as i have told you when budget is balanced our government expenditure is equal to tax revenue so in place of g dash i can write t times y simple thing so i will write t times y dash okay because g dash is equal to t y dash so let us solve it for y dash so we have y dash is equal to 760 uh, plus uh, marginal tax rate is being given us so let uh, let's write it here and the value of marginal tax rate which is 0 0.3 okay to save the space so we have 0 0.8 okay y dash minus 0 0.3 y dash will come out to be 0 0.7 y dash plus so t is our 0 0.3 so let me write it here 0 0.3 0 0.3 y dash okay uh, so this comes out to be when you add when you multiply this uh, with this r sati chapan this comes out to be r c r thalis r eight seven zar r sati chapan 0.56 
प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री सो वी है जीरो पॉइंट फाइव सिक्स प्लस जीरो पॉइंट थ्री दिस कम्स आउट टू बी सिक्स पाँच रगे ऐट यू गो ये यू गो जीरो सो दिस विल कम आउट टू बी वाई डेश इज इक्वल टू सेवन सिक्सटी प्लस जीरो पॉइंट एट सिक्स वाई डेश and let us solve it for y dash so y dash minus 0.86 y dash will be equal to 760 take y dash common we are left with 1 minus 0.86 okay is equal to 760 which means y dash is equal to 760 1 minus 0.86 it comes out to be 0.14 and we we'll, when we transpose it will get divided so when we divide this we will get the new equilibrium level of income is 5428.6 okay after that what we need to see we have seen that our initial income was yeah output was 4000 new output is 5428.6 therefore change in output will be equal to new output minus old output which is 5428.6 minus 4000 which comes out to be you know 1428.6 this is our change in output but we need to find out the change in government expenditure okay then we will you know directly insert the formula for government expenditure multiplier okay so government expenditure multiplier i will not derive it here in other video i will derive it okay um probably i have derived it in some video but government expenditure multiplier is equal to let me write it here or simply let me write it i let me write it like this gm okay is equal to our government expenditure multiplier will be change in output upon change in government expenditure is equal to 1 upon 1 minus c which is marginal propensity to consume plus b which is marginal tax rate sorry which is uh, what is our sorry it is again c here i am getting confused with that very b so 1 minus marginal propensity to consume plus c again marginal propensity to consume times the marginal tax rate this is our government expenditure multiplier okay so this will come out to be 1 upon 1 minus 0.8 the value of c plus again 0.8 Times and the value of marginal tax rate, which is zero point three. Okay, so <clears throat> that means our del y upon del g will be equal to one upon when you solve this, it will come out to be zero point four four. Okay, which implies our del y. Now change in income. Uh, we have seen change in income is one four two eight point six. So in place of del y, I will write. One four two eight point six upon del G is equal to one upon zero point four four. Let's cross multiply then. That means del G will be equal to del G will be equal to one four two eight point six into zero point four four, which comes out to be when you multiply this stuff, you will get approximately. Del G is equal to six to eight point five something uh, five eight I guess. So which is when you remove the decimal, okay. So this five will get converted to the next, you know, number. So it will become. Uh, let me write it here. It will become six to nine approximately. That means. our government expenditure must increase by 
so that our budget is balanced okay so let me repeat it again we were being given the total output as 4000 okay also we were being given the marginal tax rate which is 0 0.3 our marginal propensity to consume is 0 0.8 and government expenditure is 1000 we were being told that this is a closed economy okay and we are being told that uh, our let us suppose that our government expenditure increases okay if government expenditure increases with this our income will also increase obviously such that after this happens okay increase in uh, government expenditure you know increases our output when this uh, step happens our budget is balanced when will be our budget balanced when our government you know spending is equal to tax revenue in this question then we say the budget is balanced okay then we are being told how much uh, g must have increased and we, we we were told to find out the approximate value so when solving this stuff we got the value as 628.58 when we remove the decimal we will get sorry it is 629 here okay i hope i make myself clear in this video thank you